All right, so here's a tutorial on doing the fruit basket challenge. Remember, the things that we are looking to change is first of all the hue, which essentially means the color, and then the saturation, so the vibrancy of that color. Our task is that we are going to take five separate images of fruit. We're going to delete the background and we're gonna alter the hue and saturation. Lastly, we're gonna take those separate images and we're gonna put it into a basket like so. So here are some examples. First thing that you wanna do is make sure that you have all of your images ready. So. Here I have all my images. So let's see if I can change the view of it. One thing that's really, really important, here we go. All of these are either a PNG or um, a JPEG. Those are image files. There's a ton of different um, other file types, but these are gonna be the only ones that will work for this assignment. So again, what you wanna do, you can go to Google, Right. I would do um, you know, fruit and then I would also put JPEG or PNG to make sure. Another uh, awesome resource, and you can refine it just by putting images right there. Some people might have this option and some people might not. But here, if you select tools, you can go over here to size and you wanna make sure that your image is quite large. So again, it's going to filter. When you're looking at images, you wanna choose something with a simple background. So for example, we have this apple, the background is white, looks good. I'll right click, go down to save image as. And here it says that it's a JPEG image, so we are good to go. And then you can save it, of course, into your folder. So after you have your five images of fruit and then a picnic basket, you're going to go and you're going to open those images in Photoshop. Usually what we've been doing, especially with Illustrator, is creating a new document. This one we're just going to open directly. So I can select multiple images here. I'm gonna select this guy, but I wanna be able to open up multiple ones, right? So I click the top one. I'm gonna hold down shift and click the bottom one. And so now everything in between is selected, including my basket, okay? Click open, might take a little bit. Remember, Adobe files and Programs are huge, so make sure that you don't have like a web browser open with a ton of tabs or Illustrator. We just wanna work with this, okay? So first thing that you wanna do to edit is go over here to your layers menu. If you can't find your layers menu, like those diamonds that are stacked on top of one another, you can always go up here to window and here in alphabetical order, you have every single option uh, that is over on your right hand side. So make sure that it is checked, okay? So what you'll notice is that when you open up a file in Photoshop, it's automatically going to lock it. So let's just click that guy here and then it turns into layer one. Now the fastest way to select an area that is the same color, like this white area, is gonna be your magic wand tool. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four down. Remember, any tool that's on the left-hand side that has that small triangle beside it, it means that there are additional tools underneath. So I'm gonna click and hold and there you have it, got my magic wand tool. One thing that I want you to be mindful of is your tolerance. So I'm gonna make my tolerance lower, we'll put it five, right? And then I'm gonna click on the white area. Now I did a pretty good job of selecting all of the white area, but you can see here, there's like a little bit that it didn't cover. Same with the shadow that's really slight. In those cases, you can hold down shift 
And then you can see there's a little plus sign there, right? So I can continue clicking. However, sometimes that can be kind of frustrating because your tolerance is so low. So let's try to make it a little bit higher, like 30. Now I did a pretty darn good job, but I want to make sure that I get that shadow as well. Again, I'm holding down shift and you can see that there's a plus sign there. And I'm just going to make sure I have most of the background. Looks good. So next, what you're going to do is just hit backspace on your keyboard. Make sure that you have the background selected. You'll know that because those marching ants will be on the outline of your canvas as well as your piece of fruit, right? So backspace. And now I have just the apple and the background is transparent. I know that because of the checkered pattern here, okay? I want to deselect that area because now I want to edit the apple, right? So I'm gonna hit Control D for deselect, okay? So again, I've got my background, it's gone. I have, let's see here, the layer is not locked. I'm gonna go down here. See that circle? It's like half black, half white. So it's create new fill or adjustment layer. I'm gonna select that. And now you're given a bunch of options to edit the colors of your photo. Today, what we're gonna work with is hue, changing the color, saturation, changing the vibrancy. Click. And now you have um, this menu. So when you move the hue, it's gonna change the color, right? Saturation, bring that all the way up. It's almost glowing, neon. Bring it all the way down. It's now essentially a black and white photo. You can choose whatever color and saturation you want, just as long as it doesn't look like the original image, right? When we wanna make something a little bizarre. So let's say I like that, it looks good. I'm gonna go over here. So next thing, and I see this mistake happen all the time, and I totally get it, is that you're ready to put it into your basket. Where's my basket? Oh, there it is right here. So I wanna plop it in that basket, right? Because there we, go. we wanna make it look like this, yeah? So I'm gonna go back to my apple, right? I can go up here to edit and then copy, or I could push Control and C, they do the same thing, right? So if I do that, go over here to my basket, right? Again, I've got to make sure that I unlock that, okay? And then to paste it on there, edit and paste, and you'll notice that the basket is a funky color. Why did that happen? Okay, let me show you. So going back to our Apple image, you'll notice that the layer that's highlighted is your hue and saturation change, right? So that was the only thing that you were copy and pasting was simply that, and Photoshop was just trying to apply it the best way it can. In order to be able to um, copy and paste this correctly, you're gonna have to have a single layer. So, this is already highlighted, right? <clears throat> but I want to highlight both layers. So I'm going to hold shift and click this guy here. Okay. So now I have both my layers selected. I'm going to right click and you're going to be given a whole bunch of options. And what you want to do is you can either choose merge layers or merge um, the visual layers, flatten image, is going to add a background back. And so you don't want to do things twice, right? So again, I'm going to go Control Z, I have both these layers, right click, and we're going to merge layers. So now we just have a single layer here, okay? So again, I can go up to edit, I can copy, go back to my basket. It's already unlocked for me, right? Edit and paste or control V. 
but obviously this apple is gigantic and I don't want it to be. So I have to be able to scale it. In order to do that, what you're gonna do is control T for transform. And then there's gonna be a box around it. Um, you're gonna handle this very similarly to Illustrator, right? So go up in the corner, scale down that image. So it looks appropriate to its size, okay? So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna get it, like rid of that, I don't know, because now it just looks like a sticker on a photo, right? But we want it to look like it is actually in the basket, like we have in the example. So in the next video, I'll show you how to do that.